The nation's chief spent the last two days in New York in major meetings with investors. Janine Noel Ferguson tells us more about those discussions in the ZNS News exclusive. The country's leader returned to the capital after 11 this morning following business meetings in New York. During an interview with ZNS News in the airport's VIP lounge, he said the tourism industry could get a significant boost from the cruise sector. Mr. Christie briefed us on discussions with officials from the multi-billion dollar conglomerate, the Genting Group. They are commissioning a new ship in February, which we will participate in. That ship will be based in Miami and essentially moving to and through the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. And so um, I wanted to be there to participate, to encourage them, because Genting is looking at the Bahamas in even more significant ways. The Prime Minister said he also met with investors wanting to build a mega establishment in East Grand Bahama, one that former MP Kenneth Russell is involved in. Mr. Christie said they made an impressive proposal that the government is focused on, and the group plans to show evidence that they have the funds to back this development. They are now being joined by major energy partners out of China. And then they will all assemble here in June, which is supposed to be the breakout meeting where the evidence um, that they have shown me in writing, but the real evidence of the financial capacity of the investing group um, will be made evident. Now, Prime Minister Perry Christie says he's very encouraged by those meetings in New York and says there could be some good news coming out of it for Grand Bahama. We are endeavoring to make a selection of a casino operator, and interestingly enough, um, and there are now a number of Bahamian applicants um, um, joining the list of people who are applying for the casino, even in Freeport. And so um, it's very interesting, but Gra Grand Bahama. Um, because of its very sophisticated infrastructure, really should attract more industry. The Prime Minister left the airport for a 12 o'clock meeting with the owners of cable and wireless. And although some are of the opinion that the government cannot regain majority shares, the Prime Minister had this to say. I'm now going to meet with the leaders of BTC. Right, who's leaving for London, and we are getting very close to a, a resolution of this matter. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.